Why should we care about natural fertilizers? They're just dirt and decayed stuff, right? Well, not quite. Natural fertilizers play an essential role in maintaining the health and vitality of our gardens, and today we're going to dig into why that is. First up, we have manure. Now, this might not be the most glamorous topic, but it's a crucial one in the world of gardening. Manure, whether it comes from cows, chickens or horses, is packed with nutrients that plants need to thrive. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, the big three of plant nutrition, are all found in abundance in manure. But it's not just about the nutrients, manure also improves soil structure, making it easier for plants to take root and absorb water. The thing to remember is that there is hot manure and aged manure, and the difference is significant. To start off, hot is just a nice way of saying freshly created. Hot manure is not something you want to use on your plants because it will burn the roots and kill the plant. Depending on the animal it came from, manure needs to age for anywhere from 6 to 18 months. There are some exceptions, such as rabbit droppings that are ready to use right away, but it's best to check with your government agricultural outreach program or a local gardening group to find out more. One more thing about manure. If the animal that produced it was eating grass that was sprayed with chemicals, the resulting manure may kill your plants. Consider doing a test where you plant beans in a small pot of soil mixed with the manure. Beans are the perfect canary in the coal mine. If the plant grows well for two weeks then dies, the manure is compromised and should not be used on your garden. Next on the list is fish emulsion. This might sound like something you'd find in a fancy restaurant, but it's actually a potent natural fertilizer. Made from the byproducts of the fishing industry, fish emulsion is a rich source of nitrogen and other essential nutrients. It's a fast-acting fertilizer, quickly releasing nutrients into the soil, and it's also a great way to recycle waste from the fishing industry. Fish emulsion follows a long tradition handed down by the first peoples, where they would dig a hole, put fish parts at the bottom, then plant a seed on top. As the fish decayed, it provided nutrition to the plant. Last but not least, we have compost. Compost is the dark, crumbly stuff that's left over when organic matter decomposes. It's made from a variety of materials, including fruit and vegetable scraps, leaves, grass clippings, and more. Compost is a slow-release fertilizer, steadily providing nutrients to plants over time. It also improves soil structure, much like manure, and it helps to retain moisture, which is especially important in dry climates. So, what have we learned about natural fertilizers? They're not just dirt and decayed stuff. They're a crucial part of any healthy garden, providing essential nutrients and improving soil structure. Manure, fish emulsion and compost each have their own strengths. From the fast-acting nutrition of fish emulsion to the slow, steady nourishment of compost. Remember, a garden is a living, breathing ecosystem, and just like any ecosystem, it needs a balance of nutrients to thrive. Natural fertilizers help to provide that balance, nourishing plants and enriching the soil. So next time you're out in the garden, spare a thought for the humble natural fertilizers that make it all possible.